Today I'd like to talk about the Windows 11 22H2 upgrade, the new version of Windows 11. And uh, there's a problem with uh, Intel Generation 11 chips. I don't put the what they call the Intel smart sound technology in it. It's a problem with the driver in there and audio on that Windows 11. Windows 11 update will not show you that you're eligible to upgrade if, uh, if it sees that in there until they get the driver fixed. Microsoft and Intel knows it. In fact, I took a screenshot here and there's where they talk about a compatibility update. And stuff. Well, it won't show up until they you get the right driver in there as far as going through the updates. But on September the 20th, Microsoft rode the update out for people that, you know, their computers is ready for it. Well, on the 21st, I, you know, I, I'm a seeker, and I forgot about they was going to most likely release it on September the 20th. So I took, and uh, on the 21st, I went and downloaded the ISO and ran the setup and, and upgraded from t Windows 11, I think it was 21H2, to Windows 22H2. I could be wrong on the older version. And um, then I started having trouble. I use a chat program, video audio chat program, to talk to a friend of mine up in Canada. And plus we help people with some PC problems and all that in there. So I guess being a seeker too, we, we want to see what it looks like. Well, this laptop I'm recording this on has a that 11th generation Intel chip with that smart technology on it. Well, what would happen was then when I'm in the chat room and I keyed the mic and talked to him and then when I'd unkey and he would talk to me back, I couldn't hear him. It would maybe work one or two times and then it would do that. And uh, my mic would still work. He could hear me but when he keyed the mic to talk back to me, I'd lost audio. So what I was doing to try it out, you know, I was sort of trying to figure out why that was happening, is uh, I went into Device Manager by right-clicking on the Start button and went to Device Manager. And I could drop the, you know, I could right-click on these and say uninstall, uninstall device. You know, there's a USB one, uninstall device. Then I could shut my computer down, restart it, and I would have audio again. And it would work sometimes pretty good for, uh, for a big part of a day or something, or maybe all day, or it might... You know, I might be using the audio on it for a while, and then, you know, do that, and uh, or I would do it later on in the day. Then when I would get, you know, I'd go to bed at night, being on a laptop, because it's got the live of generation, I think they call it Tiger Lake CPU, where they started putting that in there. I don't know if it's any other, the newer one, Alder, Alder Lake, I think they call it, and they're getting ready to come out with a new one. I don't know if they got that smart sound technology in them CPUs or not. But anyway, you know, it was giving me trouble. So, you know, I, I tried to remember in the morning when I'd boot up the laptop, I'd come in here and say uninstall, uninstall, you know, and then it would work. But if I forgot to do that, I had the problem. And the problem showed up on YouTube after that. I could click 
to say, okay, is my audio working on YouTube? Or maybe I had a YouTube page in the background. Did a video that I've been watching. I hit play. No audio. Then it would set and go to this spinning motion like it was buffering. But the screen sort of turned a little bit different. I could close that video down. Go open another video on YouTube. No audio. I get the thing. I saw it. You know, when I was having that problem. So what I ended up doing by reading around and stuff, but I really didn't come across. Some people have some way got an audio driver, but I got a real tech audio driver in this computer. So I'm sitting there going, I don't need that. Don't want to mess with it. So, you know, I, I disabled these. I went in or and disabled. You know, if I had it enabled, it, it would say disabled there. So I disabled the two things. And then, you know, I sat and I looked at my, uh, think, had me reboot or whatever, then I took and, uh, no, I don't think it did on that one. But then I went in and uh, on a USB headset, it didn't have a driver or it wouldn't even show up, you know, but then I got it to show up. So what I had to end up doing on that for my workaround is I went in and right clicked on that and said update driver. You know, cause some people suggested this, but that's when they would put that high definition audio in there or whatever they would do. But I would sit and go browse my computer. And then I, you know, I got this where I sort of looked and browsed because I think I tried a different couple of um, Intel smart technology drivers or sound technology drivers. So I said, let me pick from a list. What well, came up with this? So I did that, hit next, and it installed a Microsoft generic driver for the USB. So that had my USB headset with the microphone and the speakers on it. Hadn't been going. And I have not had that trouble with the audio. I haven't had to go in and drop anything and reboot it and let it reinstall it or anything. It's just, uh, it's my workaround. And like I said, I haven't had no trouble. Because there for about a week. Because I think... Uh, Microsoft released the ISO and stuff in the update to people's computer met it, would show up in the update. But they released it, and I was a seeker. Went and downloaded on September the 21st and installed it. Then I started having that trouble. And I'm showing you my workaround, and I've not had the trouble since then. So this is just to help people out if they did that upgrade, forced it. Now they say if you can get a hold of the right driver that within 48 hours it'll show up when you go to check your Windows update. You know, that it is say your computer's ready for it. But like I said, I'm being a computer nut or whatever enthusiast, I had to push and see well, what's new in it and stuff like that. Because my friend, he had upgraded one, but his didn't have that smart technology, so he wasn't until smart sound technology <laughs> so i don't know that's uh that's my take on this and i just wanted to share it if people did force the upgrade with that in there and it wasn't showing them and they're now they're having trouble with audio because you know like i said some of the people is doing what i was doing dropping them dropping a device you reboot, install, you'd have your sound back. But like I said, it wasn't a permanent fix. The next day, if you forgot to, when you boot it up, to go in here and do that, you know, click your device manager. Tell done, install, reboot, and load. Yeah, you'd have your sound back, and it would work for part of a day or a day. I think Sean's having another mental fit. But thank you. That's all I got for today. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry.